What's up everybody, it's the Camaro guy here. Uh, I apologize for taking a while to make another video. I've been sick, I had a cold, and it was a fun Christmas present. So what's a better way to get over a cold than to be super seducing some chicks? So let's get right back into it. I think we're four, yeah. this dude looks every time ask if someone is using the chair then sit with her uh, ask her opinion of what to get as a present for a female friend sit down as you ask that's a bad idea don't do that it's kind of cheesy tell her that you read the book and that he dies in the end yes that's perfect accuse her of pretending to read but she's really hunting for men that's a good accusation I might do that one just because it's funny Stand by and ask what she's reading. Uh, I don't know. Ask if somebody's using the chair and then sit with her. I guess. Yeah, that that'd be a good idea because then you're at, you're at like a I can't tell what this is, but is it like a a bar or something? If we're at a bar, that's almost perfect. Like a coffee shop, maybe. Whatever this place is, I think sitting down with her might work out. We gotta pull a uh, fifty first dates on her and start playing with her food. So yeah, let's pick eight. Hey, excuse me. Hi. Are you using up, this girl? chair? No. Oh, great. Oh, nice. I'll just join you then. Okay. How's it going? <laughs> That's all right. How are you? Good. My name's Richard. Richard Brenna. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. reading and you just didn't Can I help you? Well, that all depends. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm joking. No, I just saw you reading and I thought I'd come and say hello because I have a few minutes before my friends come. So. Oh, okay. Yeah, interrupt your book for that. This is the right option. Um, really? It will work if you pull it off with you know, a bit of a smirk, playfulness. So if it suits your character, this will work as a way to start a conversation in the coffee shop. She did not seem interested at all. I don't know if that'll work. <laughs> Find out about her, say that her hair is kind of nice, and then transition to the back of your house. Oh, inviting her back to your house. Yeah, why would I transition into how the back of my house looks? What's wrong with you? All right, use the book as a way to show off. Uh, ask whether she comes here often. That's a very generic line that's probably boring. Uh, use the books as a way to show off. I don't know. It depends on how you're doing it. Like, are you going to, like, have, like, a little book chat? I don't know. It comes down to A or B. But I don't know what they mean by find out about her. It's that, like, get to know her. To be honest, if I knew the book... I'd probably start talking about that. So, I don't know, I'd probably beat. Let's go beat. Actually, I like audiobooks as well. Do you like oh, audiobooks? Yeah. Because sometimes I'm in, you know, I'm in my car, um, one of my cars. If I'm in, like, the Lambo, it's cool. I like right. audiobooks. Never maybe. mind. I don't know. Like, I know going to draw up like, like that. that. Mm -hmm. If I'm chilling in the rolls, then I want something <laughs> more, I don't know, maybe inspirational, right, kind of leaning back. Um, underwater speakers in the swimming pool, listen to audiobooks there man. as well. So, no. so yeah, I, I really up. love audiobooks, they're great. I see that, Shut that's, up, a, that's a lot of information. Very interesting. You're bragging way too much, comes out as desperate, just shut up. This is great, actually, you know, it's quite funny, so it's just so dumb it might work if you didn't actually mean it. So, uh, much better to keep the attention focused on her, not be going off on any kind of monologue, especially one that is showing off. Yeah, that was very So, stupid. how are you able to be free in the middle of the morning on a Thursday? Um, well, I do have a job, but it's, it's kind of from the laptop, from home, or, or from anywhere. Yeah, YouTube. But, um, it's like internet stuff, and with America, so in Europe, I need to wait until they wake up and whatever, so right. I'm, I'm kind of free. And yeah. then can be working at home, lying in bed. How about you? How come you're not at work? No. Well, I have, I'm a, I work at the university, so I have kind of an unusual schedule. I have some free time during the day and I work in the She's evenings. Got a hmm. Very American nice. accent yeah. to be European. All right. Guesses that she teaches sex ed? No, that's a terrible idea. But university, do they mean like college? I thought that's what they meant, so why would you be teaching sex ed in college? Why would you be teaching sex ed in college? That's stupid. Uh, they're all probably already doing it, so I guess you're teaching them the right moves. I don't know. Uh, 
find out whether she loves her job or if she's just doing it for the money and maybe because if she's passionate about it you could probably expand on that but say you didn't go to university and that's a waste of time probably a bad idea if she's a teacher uh let's go see that's the obvious answer. So you teach at the university? That's interesting. Yeah. And tell me, do you actually like what you do or you do it just for money? No, I really do like what I do. Great. Mm -hmm. You feel like you're making a difference in people's lives and all of this? Yeah, I, I actually do. I honestly, I feel like what I do is important and that the information I convey will be valuable to these people and to my students. And you're a good teacher? They like I you? I think so. <laughs> I hope so. That's well, that's kind of true because this is a nice thing that you can ask right. anyone so well done for picking this it's the right option and it can always lead to an interesting conversation whether she's into a job she can tell you why or she's not and she can tell you something else that she's passionate about that's the thing i don't like about this game it always you interrupts teach? you american culture we kind of started with an overview of american values which was really interesting like um freedom and stuff yeah things like that america. and even more so for example, an interesting one is how Americans relate to the future. Like the it's future. something we feel like we can control in some sense. And like Back to the Future. Yeah, that's, the movie. that's American, mm, right? I don't see how... I don't know what you mean. Okay, but Americans think that they, that they control their own destiny. Yeah. Kind of, yeah? <laughs> Ask exactly what that is and suggest inventing donuts and burgers. You know what, I don't know about the donuts, but the burgers are pretty good, and I'm pretty sure that's a German invention. From the city of Hamburg, right? <laughs> uh, make her feel good about her job, challenge her to explain why this is important. You know what, I do like to be challenged when it's something I'm passionate about. Uh, but I think I'll go C, because B, although I like to be challenged, I know some people might not, so we'll go C. In American culture, what's that? It's like uh, George Steinbeck, Edgar Allan Poe and all that stuff? Or? Sure, that's part of it. Mm -hmm. I think our, my focus is more on what we could call contemporary culture. Britney Spears. Sure. Kanye. Sure, that is all yeah. relevant. Yeah. Oh, wow. So it must yeah, be really interesting for the students. They're not learning about things thousands of years ago. Yeah, I think so. And just kind of seeing how the, you know, the Kanye's and the Kardashians, how their influence reverberates through American society and how that affects how Americans think. Mm. But that's stupid. And though. why is it useful for them. the students? Because a lot of these students aren't going to stay in their, in, in their home country. And yeah. at some point they'll be interacting either with, they'll either be in the United States or just interacting with Americans. And to have you don't some want to perspective keep up on with the Kardashians, man. their psychology or their ideology, yeah. whatever it is. Right. When someone has something that they actually care about in their life, you don't want to tease them about it or denigrate it. So it's good to give them some validation on something like this, you know, the job that she's obviously passionate about. I really enjoy my job. Hold up, hold up. Imagine having to study for class, but instead of like, math or books or something you got to study by watching keeping up with the kardashians that's so stupid why would you I'm... all right let's get but back there's this one little thing that's very frustrating for me i've got this problem where i can't oh, print all the ass. copies that i need and but i want my students to all have their own copy to take home but then i have to go to the printer like every day and it gets kind of expensive so what do you think i should do i was not really paying attention i was talking about the ass be honest and say you're a distracted by the girl. Uh, I don't know if you want to say you're a distracted. It's honest, but I don't know. To be honest, I was talking about him staring at her ass, but I didn't really listen either. So I, I don't know. I guess. I guess I'll be honest. I'm sorry. I was paying attention to that chick that walked by. Uh, the dude I was controlling was staring at her ass, and it made me laugh a little. Um, look, to be honest, did you see that girl that just walked by? Mm -mm. <laughs> yeah, she's gone now, but she had like amazing oh. long legs and just the perfect um, ass no, on there. No. And <laughs> she just she looked back and winked at me or something, like smiled. And yeah, I was, you just lost her. She's totally distracted. But <laughs> supposed to be honest, but anyway, not like that, man. Give me a second to chill, Han. That's a little too much right there. I get it. She's all so, right, something about work. Yeah, problem at work? Yeah, never mind. Yeah, she's yeah. not interested it's anymore. It's not. 
important. She was unbelievable. To okay. Be honest. I'm surprised she's still The lesson there. here is that there's one thing being honest, uh, which is, you know, saying actually that girl distracted me. And then there's another <coughs> when you're going into all the detail and being kind of dirty. Girls just well, aren't ready for that. I didn't say go into detail. I said be honest, not go into detail about how you think she has the perfect ass or anything. And say it must be annoying to tell her to ask for a bigger printing allowance, I guess. I don't know. Ah, oh, well, that's bad. So I guess you don't have enough like papers for the students and stuff. Yeah, yeah that's part of it. Mm, I guess you can ask for more allowance or get them to share, but yeah, it's annoying. Mm -hmm. Well done, you weren't distracted by the sexy chick that walked by and that's something that you know you can use out there. Well done for paying attention and getting the right response. I thank you. Alright, real world, I would not be distracted by other chicks. If I'm sitting with a chick, I'm focused on her. But I do find it kind of funny that he was just staring at her ass and that kind of caught me off. Where's that music coming from? Phone call. Alright, back to it. I gotta put my phone on silent so that don't happen again. Call him back later. So you got your teaching thing, and what else is important in your life? What else do you love to do? I really love dogs, and I love to travel. Travel? Yeah. That's cool. Do you travel a lot? I've Traveling traveled school. quite a bit these last couple of years, especially. Tell her how you've been and what you liked about it. Your experiences there. So I don't know. I guess say. Hey, I actually went to the Grand Canyon a few years ago, drove yeah. in the car from LA and I think they have a limited number of people they let in, which is quite good. You mm -hmm. know, it's not like full of hotels and Burger Kings and stuff, right? Yeah. It's well, quite there's, protected. There's quite a few, yeah, it's a national park, so it's very protected. And we went before sunset, saw the sunrise, stayed there all day, watched the sunset, mm -hmm. stayed overnight, and then went back. So it was, yeah, very, very beautiful. I'd like to go back. You know what, you did that all in one day. That's like eight hours from LA. This is okay because it's kind of connected to the subject, <coughs> but it's not the best answer because you're talking about yourself and your own experiences, and it would be more interesting to her. Uh, there'd be better connection if you kept it, kept it focused on her. Oh, should I say that? No. Oh. I've run out of things to say. Oh. So you, you just... Alright. You don't know what to say. Uh, break eye contact and look around the boat. Uh, hold eye contact and wait for her to speak. Yeah, just stare at her face. Uh, to be honest, I would just wait and wait for her to say something. Because you've already said enough. You've walked out there. It's her turn to make an effort. If she don't make an effort, she's just not right. Let's go. So are you not gonna get any coffee? Oh, well actually I was, I was over by the bar just uh, before I saw you and had a coffee there. And I try not to drink too many. I get, it actually has a strong effect on me. So I don't need that much energy. I've had enough, so I'm, I'm good. Correct. Now, silent. most guys can't do this, you know, so it's, it's very cool, makes you look very confident and yeah. strong when you can hold eye contact like this and get her to be the one that works to fill the silence and come up with something to say because it shouldn't always be you, right? Agreed. You tell me some things for... you like to do for fun. Well, since I, as long as I can remember, I've always loved playing volleyball, so that's ah, something okay. I try to do whenever I can. Nice. I played it at school. They had yeah. it in my school, but since then I didn't. But they play, I go to Barcelona a lot and they play on the beach. Mm -hmm. Do you play beach volleyball? I will, well? yeah. Oh, very in a nice. pinch. Are you very good? Yeah. But anything else you do? Yeah, I probably the thing I do the most is study Russian for hobbies. You study Russian? Okay. Tell her that it's stupid and that Putin is evil and Russians are just vodka drinking idiots. <laughs> what the hell? Uh-uh, that's probably bad. Uh, I'm not gonna get political on this. That's... Uh-uh. Uh, compliment her on a, choosing a tough language to learn. Yeah, Russian is pretty tough. I only understand a few words. Uh, show her that... Show off by telling her about all the languages you speak. That could actually backfire because if you say the wrong language, then she might... I don't know, quiz you on it, and then you, you'd fail miserably and... Yeah. Let's just uh, compliment her on choosing a tough language, I guess. I would say something about failing miserably with languages at school and how it's impressive, but I think C and B can kind of complement each other if you put them together. 
Let's, let's just go B. Russian? Huh. Yeah. You know, I meet loads of people that speak, what, French, English, obviously Spanish, German. Mm -hmm. But Russian, it's really rare to, to meet someone who speaks Russian. It's yeah. pretty cool. How come you chose that? I don't really have a good reason. When I was in high school, I did a, I had the opportunity to do a study abroad, and my choices were France and Russia, and I didn't want to go to France. So I went to Russia, and then I just never quit. Nice one. You know, when a girl has something that is a real talent, something that she should be proud of, something she's worked hard on, that's the kind of thing you don't want to tease her too much on. So, you know, say well done, say you respect that and say why, and then go deeper into it because, you know, you need to find out why she would do that, why she was interested, what would make her spend the time on it. And it's going to lead to interesting conversation, make her feel good as well. I noticed you have an accent. Do you mind if I ask where you're from? Uh, England, actually. Whereabouts? Um, was born in London, but actually, you know what? When I was when I was young, I, I lived in South London. Um, because I travelled a lot and I moved, I've lost most of my accent. But do I still sound British to you? Yes, very much. That's good. Very. You like my British accent, don't you? No, chicks only go for that really thick Indian accent. Tell her about how you girls go crazy about your British accent and that you get laid everywhere. <laughs> Talk about foreigners perceiving English and how people react to it. Uh, rea blah, blah, blah. Man, I can't read today. I'm sorry, people. Uh, talk about her for... Man. Screw it. Man, I swear I can read. I swear. I read all the time, but man, I can't read today. Uh, yeah, see. Whatever. So you like the English accent? Yeah. Yeah, most people like it. They say it's kind of sexy, but maybe that's just when I speak. <laughs> It's quite interesting actually being English because in some places like America we have a very good reputation mm -hmm. and then some places like Spain where all the English people go and kind of party and like the hooligans go drinking and stuff so mm -hmm. reputation is quite bad but okay, how do you yeah. find it being an American and traveling? Uh, it depends on where you're at but I guess generally people have kind of negative stereotypes That's about true. the United States and Americans but I don't know. It seems that a lot of people are willing to take you and judge you individually and not... That's good, right? Not about That's oh, yeah. so we're lucky, yeah? we don't have any real uh, racism or anything really bad against us almost anywhere we go, right? Yeah, yeah, that's true. This is the right choice and it's always interesting to talk about cultural differences so it can lead to some nice conversation. It's true though, it makes me laugh because everybody over here thinks Oh, English people are so posh, or whatever they call it. But then, I see English people and I think, wow, they probably curse as much as Gordon Ramsay. But no, everybody's like, oh, that's, that's luxury, they're rich or fancy. No, that's just, uh, I don't know, it's not right. I don't know, you could... Say you like to see her again, like you gotta run off and ask for a number, I guess. Let's well, go. listen, it's been wonderful speaking with you, so maybe I could get your number and we hang out Might sometime. actually be a little early. Um, I'm sorry, it really was nice talking to you, but I just, um, I don't think so. Yeah, like I said, it Why, was early. You, you don't like men or you have a boyfriend? I, I just don't want to see you again. Okay, oh, cool. but it was nice, right? Nice yeah, it was all right. Yeah, I liked it too. Yeah, well, I wasn't going to see you again as well. I just said it to be polite. But okay. That, that's, that's all right. Don't worry about that. Cool. See you then. Enjoy your book. Thank and you. Coffee and... Yeah. And she's cold. I don't like her anymore. This is a case of going for the number when you're not sure that she likes you. If you are having an open conversation, if you find things that you could do together... All right, yeah. Skip. I already know it was bad. Uh, I guess we'll continue it with C. What do you like to do in, I don't know, for fun, like in the evening? Because you study Russian and whatever, but do you drink, dance, anything else? All of the above, yeah. Yeah? Mm -hmm. At the same time? <laughs> when the mood strikes, yeah. Very cool. Yeah, I like going out sometimes, cocktail bars, different bars. And do you smoke shisha? Uh, hookah. Yeah, hookah you call it in America, right? Yeah, I have from time to time. I'm not a, a huge fan, but... I quite like it. They say it's yeah. really unhealthy. Though. It I seems unhealthy. Once a month. But you don't cough after it, so therefore... You know. It's healthy? Yeah. So we need to do it sometime, like shisha, uh, hookah, um, cocktails, 
Lindbom Sen. Oh, maybe. When you want to transition to seeing someone again, it's very good to build up a picture of the kind of things that they do, the way they spend their time, because you might find a mutual connection. You find that you share some activities or that you do some things that she wants to do, she does some things that you'd like to try, and then it makes it very easy to then go on and suggest the date from there and take the number. Yeah, there you go. And do you have any other okay. outdoor, right. like, active stuff you like to do? Not yeah. Not volleyball, but anything else? Yeah, I grew up in, in the country, so I really enjoy a lot of nature activities. I like hiking and I love fishing. Fishing? Fishing, yeah. A girl who likes fishing? It happens, yeah. Wow. Well, that's something else we could do one day, like take some bicycles, ride out somewhere. Yeah. That would be nice. Cool. Uh, you're really trying to get her to meet you again. Run the cube routine. I don't know what that is. Ask what kind of men she likes. Ask for her plans for the coming weekend. Touch her face. <laughs> Touch her face just seems out of nowhere. I kind of want to see where it goes. But if I had to pick one, I don't know. I guess I'd ask for A or D. Because if it's A, you could transition to actually going to do those things that you're talking about. D, I don't know what that is, so I'd like to see it too, but... B just sounds out of nowhere, so I'm going to pick that for now, but maybe A or D. Probably D. Not A. Uh, let's go A. Hang on, come closer a second. Mm -hmm. Just see something. That's it. Well, come back. What are you doing? <laughs> I just wanted to touch your face. You've got really Why? soft skin and you look you look like a little baby. I just wanted Let to touch like, your face. Tiki -tiki something like that. That's a little unusual. Uh, no. no. I don't like that. Normal, oh, normal. Guys don't do that to you? No. Guys come don't on, do you that. pick her nose, man. To you. Period. I do it all the time. <laughs> Girls love it. Because it's like a big compliment. You look young, you have nice skin, so touch your face. Oh, I'm sorry. That makes me uncomfortable. I wash my hands. If Let that's what you worry about. No germs or bacteria or whatever. Still. No. Hmm. Well, maybe it's too soon. I'll wait. Definitely too soon. Like next <laughs> time we meet, have a few drinks, and then get some face touching going on. Yeah, just yeah. let me touch your face, girl. I don't think so. I'm sorry. I really want to touch your face now. All right. It's <laughs> creepy. Okay. It's like some okay, that was fetish. a funny example, but in the daytime, you really don't need to touch her at all. It's fine just to work towards the number and have a good conversation. All right, that's like a weird fetish thing, wanting to touch her face. I don't know. I kind of want to see what the cube routine is, so I guess I'll pick that, but... Since I don't know what exactly it is, my answer would be A. Are you interested in psychology? Yeah. Have you ever done this psychology test called the Cube? Mm -mm. And it will tell you all about your personality. Sure. Okay, so close your eyes. And I want you to imagine that you're in some place, there's like a landscape, anything you like. Mm -hmm. And in that landscape, there's a cube somewhere. Okay. Uh, it's small, like the size of a day. Okay, cool. And then somewhere right. in relation to the cube is the ladder. Can you describe the ladder? Uh, okay, it's green. Mm -hmm. It's not, it's one of these ladders, not one of these ladders. Mm -hmm. How big is it? Like three times the size of a person. Okay, pretty big. And then somewhere in this scene, there's a horse. Okay. And can you tell me like what it's doing and what it looks like. And stuff. It's grazing, it's a paint. Okay. And it looks very healthy. Is it close to the cube or, or not? It's probably 30 feet from the cube. Okay. Why is it so and far away? Somewhere there are some flowers. Tell me about the flowers. The flowers are by the horse. The horse is eating the flowers. Ah, that's interesting. And the Someone final thing, somewhere later. there's a storm. Where is it? In the distance, near the mountains. Very good. All right, open your um, eyes. So this tells you, um, this tells me about your character. So the cube represents your view of yourself. And if it's very it's big, it means there. you've got a huge ego. Mm -hmm. But it's quite small, so it means you're quite humble. But then it's silver. So you think, you know, you have that self-confidence that you've got something, you know, special and a little bit shiny. And mm -hmm. that's good. And then the ladder represents your ambitions. So the fact that it's uh, quite big and bigger than the cube and not like under it or whatever else means that you have quite big ambitions. 
So the horse uh, represents your man. So it was quite good <laughs> that he's uh, healthy and you know looks good, and that he's nearby, right? He's mm -hmm. not far away, which would mean he's not on the horizon or anything. And then the flowers represent your children that you're going to have in the future. So it's good that um, the man is near them, that he's not like an absentee dad or But something, he's eating right? Them. But a bit strange that he's eating them. So I don't know, don't know what to think about that. <laughs> Okay. The final point is positive as well. Um, it means that you have a sunny disposition because your problems are represented by the storm and it's in the distance. You know, some people have the storm overhead and it just means that they've always got problems or that at that moment they're in a dark period in their life. Mm. So, does this sound pretty accurate? Yeah. Cool. That's very cool. Kind of interesting, I guess. This is quite interesting. It's a psychological game. There's a book on it yeah. and a lot of pickup artists have used it. Um, it's, a, it's quite an interesting psychological test. Again, like the reason it's not the best choice is it's better if you can do without it. But if you'd like some you know, little tricks and tools that you can carry around with you and use when necessary, this is okay and you can use it. So it doesn't destroy anything, but I'd say it's not the best option. Oh, to be fair, I didn't know what it was. I kind of want to see what it was. All right, uh, suggest meeting her for a drink later. Take her number, suggest you go hiking sometime, take her number. So you have a few minutes to spare and invite her to make love in the restroom. Yeah, I kind of want to see your reaction on that. But in the meantime, I don't know. Saying you'll go for a drink later, that's too generic. I think I'd go hiking. But I kind of want to see B first. So I'm going to say C, but I'm going to pick B. Well, listen, I think things are just going swimmingly between us. So I've just noticed something. There's a restroom over there, right? And wait a second while I tell you my plan. You seem like an adventurous girl. <laughs> She's so Correct me curious. If I'm wrong. You said you like, you know, doing different things. So what we're going to do, you're going to go to that restroom and I'm just going to bang your brains out. Oh my God. No. <laughs> no. Just... Well, just quickly. Three, four minutes. You're a pervert. And I want you to leave I've my table. No, I'm sure <laughs> you have. I'm going to Really, leave. you need to leave. I'm going to leave this the is, table. No, yeah. Yeah. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm g you're going to love it. I'm going to leave the table. I'll go and wait there. Okay. Get ready, you know, so to speak. You and go do that. You come and join me in like 30 seconds so that people don't see us growing together. All right? So you're going to come in 30 seconds, all right? Mm -hmm. I don't... Wait I, until you see what I've got I here. I am serious. You're extremely creepy. I want you to leave. Extremely creepy? Extremely creepy. Look. Okay, look. I've had it with you. I'm not going to... It's like, okay, oh, just please take a million dollars. No, I don't, I don't want, want it. No, it. I don't want it. Here, have these Lamborghini keys. Drive it. No, no. I don't want it. Okay, Go. fine. I'm going. <laughs> True gentleman. Yes, very much so. Uh, yeah, let's say you go hiking. So you like um, hiking <clears throat> and outdoor stuff, and mm -hmm. the weather's pretty good at the moment. So one day we could take a little trip or. I don't know, meet in the evening. Anyway, lots of stuff. We've got lots of stuff we could do together. So why don't you give me your number and we'll, sure. we'll arrange something. Hey, now you're not cold. What happened in the five minutes between now and then? Thanks. Mm -hmm. Exactly right. It flows very smoothly to find something that you both like and then suggest doing that as the reason to see each other again. It's way better than just saying, hey, give me your number or hey, let's go for dinner tomorrow. You. Yep. Quite coldly say goodbye and that you'll be in touch. Give her a long, lingering handshake. No. Say goodbye, be warm, say how nice it was to meet you. Goodbye, hug, and then go in for a kiss. Just quietly, coldly say goodbye. That'd be like the best payback ever for uh, what she did earlier. Uh, I'm not vengeful, but it is pretty funny. I kind of want to see it. But if I was going to pick, I guess I'd pick A. But I kind of want to see B just just as like a vengeful thing. It's funny. Like I said, I'm not vengeful, but I do want to see how he how she reacts to that and how he executes it. I guess. Okay, so I, I better be going. See ya. Okay, bye. Oh, 
that's not too This bad. one is counterintuitive, but it's exactly the right answer. The reason is that if you're too friendly at the leave and like, okay, see you again soon. It's lovely to meet you. Really enjoyed it. See you, see you, bye bye, like that. Then it just means that she knows that you and like her. She's she knows you're going to message her, and she's not really thinking about it. If you do the opposite and you're kind of cold, she might think, hang on, did I do something wrong there at the end? Does he really like me? Will he message me? Does he want to see me Hold again? Up. Just makes you look very cool and keeps her thinking about you in the interim uh, between the time where you say bye bye and the time when you message her and get in touch again. Hold up. So I already do that. I thought he was going to be cold, like, like, uh, like at a job interview when, when the guy interviewing you makes it sound like you're not going to get the job. I thought it was going to be something like that. Not like that. I already do that all the time. Not, not to be cold or anything, but just because I just go, all right, bye. Like, that's not cold. That's just me saying bye. I didn't know it was going to be like that. Hey, I'm another Casanova. This is the right option. Um, it will work if you pull it off with, right. you know, a bit yeah. of a smile. Oh, didn't mean to push next level. That's spoilers. Back to main menu. Yeah, let's go. All right, so that was the episode. I hope you enjoyed. Like I said, I apologize. I, I'm getting over a cold. I still have a little bit of cough, but I'm good. I'm, I'm fine. I might be a little congested, but I'm good. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you again later. Goodbye.